Hi guys, Zaki with another Command & Conquer Red Alert video. In this game I'm playing a 2v2 match on the map The Hills of Eyes. I'm starting in the bottom middle position playing as the Soviets. And so it's quite a while since I've actually played this map and this map is very unique and that's because the AI play quite a big role in this game. What you have is in the middle of the map you have lots of little houses and every so often those houses spawn these AI civilians and the, these AI civilians come and run in towards your base and you need to make sure you can defend against them and the best defense against them is the dogs and that's why I build 12 dogs to start with and put them at the vital positions where I think the civilians will attack from. It's quite like obvious where they're going to attack because it's a, they go the same way each time really. And as long as I have 12 dogs there, it seems to do the trick. I don't want to go for any more at this point because if you go for too many dogs, then you're going to really hamper your start. And I need to make sure I get a good start, get a good economy established and we see my teammate getting some vision at the top of the map there. Now, I'm going to be going for two ore refineries first here. I think that's probably going to be the best thing to do in this scenario. Um, so I'm just getting them at different points um, and different entrances into the ore. So hopefully my ore tricks can be very efficient. And me and my teammates in this game, I'm Soviet. So you always want a Soviet player on your team, obviously, to make the dogs to defend against the civilians. It's also good to have an allied player on your team, which my teammate is, because that allows you to get water control. And water control plays a big role in this map, because on the right side of the map, you have like a free passage where you can enter the top side of the map. But that passage upwards is surrounded by water. So if you can get some naval boats on there, it can really provide a nuisance to the other team. Also, the water control can also help um, destroy bases on the top of the map especially the person playing in the top middle could be in trouble and so allies are really a good choice to have I think as well as Soviets and our enemies have actually both went as Soviets so it's, it'll be interesting to see how they play it and I think, I think they might go for air attacks possibly and uh, we'll have to wait and see and you can see me there starting to expand to this next door patch and uh, the one on the right um, and just directing my other ore truck that I've just built there because I've already got about four or five ore trucks on the other ore patch and I want to spread them out so that I don't run out of ore. And the reason I can be so greedy in going for like all these ore trucks early on without building tanks is because of the AI civilians. I know that I said there was houses in the middle, but there's also AI civilians standing around. So if someone does try to go for an early attack with about five tanks and you can see some of those AI civilians getting eaten there, then they will be killed by the civilians because the civilians are very powerful. They've got things like nukes and Tesla and they do a lot of damage. So if you did try and go in with about five tanks right at the start, then it wouldn't end well. Although you can sometimes go for a rush down the right hand side because there is a passage. But if the other team blocks it with tanks, then it doesn't work very well either. And you can see me getting our service depot out nice and early. And that's so I have the ability to build another MCV in case my opponents use mix. I'm also going to get a radar dome so I can see what's going on in different parts of the map. And hopefully my ally will build a tech centre. What that does is it gives allied players satellite, but that satellite passes on to the whole team once it's been researched. And that'll allow us to see the whole map. And because our opponents are playing as Soviets, then they won't be able to hide the bases using gap generators, which the allied players can do. So that would give us a tactical advantage. So that's one of the good things of ha having both a Soviet and allied player. And now we can see that yellow are coming on the attack. And it doesn't look like my teammates got anything there. And I ran some dogs that by accident there into a civilian. Um, I selected all by accident, uh, but now my tanks are going over to help my ally. But it didn't look like he had much left, and we'll have to see uh, what goes on here. I've also got my tech centre. That was sort of so I could build Tanya's later on, maybe. And you can see that I think he's sold up now, um, so I haven't been able to get there and stop his base from being destroyed. Um, so now we're going against these heavy tanks. There's not too many there, but I think they're going to be cleared quite easily. And you can see some of the civilians from the sold buildings. They're doing some damage also. And 
now I'm going to have to go on the counter attack uh, because I'm a player down and that's a big thing obviously in a 2v2 match so we're going to be going on the attack and I'm just going to hope that blue isn't coming through the middle of the map otherwise I'm going to be in big trouble so we're going up to yellow's base yellow has used up some of his tanks for so we need to attack quickly so before he has a chance to build up his tank numbers again. And we've got three yellow tanks here. We're going up the middle and I'm just trying to bring some of my reinforcements from my base. But uh, it's hard when you've got like dogs as well that need to be in the right position. I'm going to build some more of those as well. And now we're going for the attack here. We're on your patch of, si of yellow. And it's heavy tank v heavy tank but i've got the tank advantage but we'll have to see is his ally going to come soon i think and now uh, we can see red coming in as well we're going to try and take out one of those ore trucks and really try and damage yellow's economy and if we can damage his economy that's going to make it very hard for him to recover and we've taken out two ore trucks we're going for a third ore truck here a third ore truck is down uh, but we've got red in here and yellow's starting to build up his tank numbers once again and now i'm gonna have to pull back but i've got some tank reinforcements coming in and we're going to try and take out one of his other ore trucks and that's four ore trucks down for Sa yellow so that's going to really hurt and he's going to probably have to build up like on trucks before you can build up tanks again and uh, there's only a few tanks here and we're starting to take them out and the question is does he have any ore left and now we're going for one of his ore refineries but well, i'm pretty sure he's got more we'll try and just see if we can take out all those ore refineries uh, but yellow with the infantry the paratroopers on my base so i might lose a building there but i've got some tanks going there just to help and we're able to take out another ore refinery and now we're going for the mcv the construction yard and that we've been able to take out that but i do have a feeling quite often what players do is a build extra construction yards extra mcv so he's probably had a service depot already built and it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get that other war factory and that airfield actually surprisingly was okay and now i'm sending those tanks uh, back to that position i'm also realigning my dogs at different places in my base just to protect from civilians who will undoubtedly come at some point now my teammate was complaining about a rush early on but i sort of would expect it from them i guess because they're playing as both soviet players and they don't want to wait too long because if you wait too long as a soviet player on this map then what will happen is the allied player will get on the water they'll start building a lot of things a lot of boats a lot of cruisers and then it'll be impossible for them to win and if you look at where orange started he started in the top right he didn't move there he chose to start there so the obvious thing i'd expect him to do is to build tanks and exa exactly what he did and now we're having a fight against red we have to be careful not to stream our tanks in but as more tanks come in we're starting to bulk them up now and we're able to take those red tanks out and what we need to be able to do is try and push up into the base as much as possible we can see red still got some tanks there i've just rebuilt that war factory that was destroyed by some of the civilians and now i've been i'm looking at paratroopers from yellow so i do have to keep an eye on those paratroopers because they could take out some essential buildings such as the construction yard but now we're in our yellow's base we're taking out some of the buildings there we've got the airfield down there we're taking out one of the heavy tanks and we have to wonder is this the whole of yellow's base and if it is if we take it out i'm just going to put a tesla coil here and we could see some civilians coming in and our dogs eating some of those civilians but we've lost a lot of dogs as well and that is a whole shed load of civilians along with red tanks coming in as well so i'm going to need to defend from that uh, and my teammate just signaling there that those red tanks are coming and i'm going to need to get my tanks in a defensive position i've also got some tanks up here which i need to use to keep on destroying yellow's base and the question is, I can't see any yellow tanks as of yet. And I just need to make sure my tanks are in the best defensive position possible. Because I think they're coming along the bottom, trying to go the back way in my, into my base. And now we've got another Tesla coil down. I'm going to make sure I keep on building those power plants just to make sure I don't run out of power. And now red tanks are retreating. But they're in the other side of my base and they've managed to destroy a ore refinery. So now doing some big damage to my economy and now they're going for my power plants and now I'm, I'm also going for yellow's power plants i don't know if yellow have another base elsewhere they might do they might not but now i am low on power so those tesla coils aren't going to be providing any protection but i'm managing to clear these tanks up and i'm going to keep that large power plant thankfully 
and I'm going to get another Tesla coil down but I'm going to need to build another large power plant quickly before another attack comes in and now I'm going to send my plant tanks onto that yellow power plant and yellow is out of the game so that was indeed the last part of their base they didn't have an MCV elsewhere the question is am I in a position to be able to come back against red who's on the attack at the moment he's managed to take out some of my economy and you can see I'm really struggling for all at the moment and that's because my all trucks are all going to one ore refinery and if red sees this and he's able to destroy that ore refinery i'm going to be in big trouble at the moment though he's going for my ore trucks and i've lost a couple of them there so that's obviously gonna hurt me even more and i do really need to get out my next ore truck and ore refinery and I've also got some tanks on the top of the map. So what I'm going to try and do here is I'm trying to go for red space. And you can see some of those red tanks coming in at the moment. And they're on low HP. And I should be able to take them out. They're still going for another ore truck. And now I'm able to get an ore refinery at this other side. And what I need to do is try and redirect my ore trucks. So they're going to the right ore refinery. And there's my tanks going into the base at red at the top while I try and sort out my economy and buy myself a little bit of time. And yeah, we can see there, this fight is actually going quite well though, because Red doesn't have the tank numbers. Did they bring too many tanks to my base? It looks like they might have. And now we're starting to take out the construction yards and also the ore refinery. So managing to do some brilliant damage here, and it does look like it's going to go in our favour, because it doesn't look like Red has enough to defend, and we're going to be able to take out some of Red's major buildings. And yeah, you can see Red's taking everything. He's selected all his units, even his dogs are coming in. And our tag numbers are too great. We managed to take out two war factories. And I don't support, well, he has another one there, actually. And um, so he's got a third war factory. But it looks like we're going to be able to take that out also. And even if he is able to survive this attack, I don't think he's going to be able to recover from this. And there goes another war factory. And now we're going to go for the oil refinery after we take out that lone tank. And yeah, we could just see all his buildings are gone. Now it's his radar dome and his small power plant. He does have a service depot, so he could have built a base elsewhere. But even if he has at this point, I think he's just lost too much. And we can see those ore trucks are stationary. And when the ore trucks are stationary, it means that all the ore refineries have been destroyed. Because otherwise, those ore trucks would just start going over to the next ore refinery. I think the crucial point there was a the counter-attack after my teammate had been taken out of that game. I think what it does also show, though, is a crucial part of blocking that right passage. All you need is three tanks, and you can actually block that passage, and it makes it very hard for the opponents to get through. What I also do, though, is if you build four base defences, you can actually block the passage down the right side of the map using four base defences and that makes it very hard for the opponents to get through so I sometimes have about a couple of tanks and I have four base defences there and that usually blocks it and after doing that then I'll start building my navy and once you get the navy down and in numbers then it's very hard for them the other team to come back so that's what I probably would have done in that match from the bottom right position but we managed to get the counter attack in we managed to defeat the opponents Yellow out of the game from then on, and I managed to survive the attack from Red. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video.